Yellow. Stub 76. See it? Uh, just gonna do a quick video on lowering Focus ST because there's no fucking videos anywhere that show you how to lower them. I've done this hundreds of times. So we've got standard springs on at the minute. Things are what's going on. A back, pro kit. And with these on the rears, I don't know if you can see, because these have already been on. I took them off because I was selling the car, but the car looks shit. I've already chopped a coil off, a full coil off the rear. And this will give you a uh, proper level stance <coughs> on the rear, otherwise it sits up. They've got no space on it at the minute, so the fucking wheels are so far in it. It's untrue. Tools you need. Where's my fucking bottle? This is all you need, and a T30 Torx that I haven't fucking got here. Hammer, pry bar, 15 mil, half inch, five mil, Allen key, three eighths, 13 and a 15, three eighths, three eighths ratchet, 15mm ratchet in spanner, 10mm ratchet in spanner, 22mm spanner, I think. I'll just have my fucking gander. Uh, maybe a 21. Ignore that, 21mm spanner you need. Half inch bopper, spring compressors, and then little pieces of metal. This is to stretch out where the uh, damper goes through the actual fucking hub so let's get to fucking cracking 21 mil spanner <coughs> and then that deep 19 What we want to do as well is take this cover off that goes under here. The one that sits there. I get it off as four or five clips. So just clip on here. You just prise them off. Then this scuttle lifts up. And we've got two T30s screwing somewhere. I can't fucking remember because I did this the other week. Yeah, but there's a T30 under here that you've got to undo. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take these 13 mils out later on when we actually get the strut ready to take off. But we need to drop off, if you can fucking see it. Uh, lighten that up a bit. A tie rod here. Drop link. Sorry, not fucking tie rod. 15 mils nut. And use your 5mm allen key at middle. Sometimes you get, get them off with a bopper, just whip them straight off, they'll come off. Sometimes they don't, you have to use a ratchet and a, and a spanner. It's a run on, dude. 15mm. You see, it's not come off all the way anyway. So. Oh, it's nearly. Ah, there you are. So that's just come off. Get that out of the way. Drop your drop link off out of the way. What we're gonna do now is undo fat bolt on the hub. Pull your brake line out of the way. So no one needs that in weight. 15 mil on your buffer again. There you are. And what you want to do, go to the other side of your rub, put your 15 mil in, make sure you don't cross thread it. Flick it through a bit. Get your piece of metal that we got before. Stick that in there. If the camera's flicking around, it's because I'm not used to me fucking iPhone. 
Right, stick your piece of metal between there and there, if you can see it, like that. Screw your bolt in. Two ways you can do this, you don't have to put it, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to over tighten this so it fucking splits your hub really far wide open, you just want it tight there. You can use a bopper, but because We're doing a proper video. I'll fucking use a ratchet like a good boy. No, you do. Tighten it up till your hub drops out, like so. And that is it. And then I've just remembered you don't have to do your fucking wishbone at all. You gotta use a bit of a uh, persuasion stick. There we are. There's a shaft out there, so you don't need to drop your wishbone off. I don't know why the fuck I did that. I like doing what? Drop your ramp down, or if you're on a fucking jack. So now we're going to take the 13 mils off, the three there. Hold your stroke cap before you fucking drop it. Oh, there you are. How are you doing it? Take note of where this little nodder is here. It's in line with the back of your strut. That little pin there at the bottom here. It's in line with that. So what we're gonna do Undo this bolt, should really use spring compressors, I've got them here. But, I've done these a few times now, so uh... Oh, I know you can do it without them. 18. I'm on a front camera now, so it's pretty shitty quality like. Should use spring compressors. You don't need to with FT, so it's already got load springs, so take them off. Take them springs off. Grab your lowering spring. Put that on, make sure it clicks in there. Not clicks in, sits in. Put your top back on, your top mount. Line up. Your little peg, as best as you can to your eye, it doesn't matter if it's fucking millimetres out like. Get your top mount over where your strut top is, and then with these lowered springs, if you push down, keep bolt, you can get them on without spring compressors. And then you can move your little nod thing here, you can move that afterwards anyway. Screw your top nut all the way on. Get your fucking buffer. Turn it on to on. Still it's tight. Lower front spring. Stick it on the car. Get away if you've left your metal in. 
you'll get away with just sticking your shaft back up. Don't even need to fuck all. So what we'll do is a little tack on the back that goes inside the gap. Turning. So there's a little tag on the back. There. That sits in the gap. As you see there. And I'll take this bolt out. And that should clamp it down. Just keep my knee under it. I gotta put it over here. So at this point tied me three top bolts up, dog them up, dog the back up, that's all tight, put me drop link back up, the fucking video turned off so that is the front suspension done, remember you don't have to drop your wishbone off, these are your rear springs and these cups, I'm probably gonna have to try and drop them but I normally stick a pry bar in and fucking bend them out so you're gonna see some dodgy stuff. I'm going to take off or try and take out the bottom bolt here but it might be a bit of a pain because the bushes like to stick in. So Fucking risk breaking it or fucking the bush. obviously the bit that I've cut off here so what I'll do the tighter bit there I'll stick my rubber cup on and then it's just fucking brute force make sure your cup stays on literally could you cut the spring off? it should that's it rear end done so use the fucking pry bars Makes it a lot easier. Take your wheel off so you don't damage it. Now I'm just going to do the front and the rear. Probably speed it up for you. So there'll be other stuff. This is probably the last stuff I'm going to do on the Focus ST because I did everything beforehand and I've sold all my parts now. So I don't have out to put back on it, which is the only thing I'm put on it before I sell it because I think it'd be better lowered. Uh, I'll have a few E39BM videos because that's what I've got now. So I'm gonna do it. I've already done lowering springs on it, but I'm gonna take them off so I can chop them. See if I can get them lowered. But. Like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more dodgy fucking videos.
this is your headlight adjuster. 10 mil bolt, well, 6 mil bolt, 10 mil whatever. Everything I say, if mil is the head size, not the actual bolt size. Take that off. Because what, what, what ends up happening is this comes that way. Trust me, it happens only about three times. So keep it there, drop it down. If you do it that way, your headlights will always point to the floor. People whinge and moan about the headlight pointing at the floor. So. Under there they go. So that's under your scuttle, there your two T30s. Use a doofer and a fucking stubby screwdriver. That's exactly the same, you see the hole there. T30, now. And then your clips that are these. Clips go along all this edge here. There they are. Should be four. Four clips. So you can use this doofer or a stubby screwdriver. A doofer is one of these little ratcheting bit holder, aka a doofer. Three dockers, talk setting, dacker, dacker, dacker. So there you are, lowered on EVAC springs. See how level it is now. Normally they kick up the back end, probably about 10 mil higher. So now they sit lower. You can buy the red line springs, spend fucking the extra money just to get a bit lower and you can just chop the springs perfectly perfectly safe it's not going to bounce out and i'm going to flick out around you can get the rear springs out if you take the actual bolt out the cup but my bolts and my cup were they were that tight i didn't want to risk knackering anything so i just forced them out with a pry bar so now i've done it anyway should take you about if you're doing it on your drive about an hour and a half if you've not done them before just get your tools all ready um, I think this took me about an hour, you know. But there you are. Like and subscribe. Oh. Come on, mate. Dirty pig. So, this is another one we've got going on that I might do some videos on. This is uh, Discovery 3. So, we've just got to send the wheels to refurb. So, it's been lowered. 30 mil spaces on. So,. Proper, proper aggressive when they uh, you lower them, they look shit when the sky high. To be fair, no one ever goes off road with them. Look at them tyres, you're gonna go off road with them tyres. Hey, you fuck. So, there we are. So, that's it. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them. If you don't like my dodgy ways, tell me. I won't fucking change them. There you are. So this is what I've got, the next project I've got to do. I've got an E39 Touring that I got for cheap. And they uh, come with a cream interior, it's fucking disgusting. Absolutely, especially with grimy fucking hands like this. So you get in here, you leave fucking brown marks everywhere. So we've got an M Sport interior, electric seats and stuff, because electric seats don't bother me where spark is by trade. I'm not a mechanic, as you can see with my roughness of getting springs out 
So I'm about to get a full dash, full centre console, door cards, boot, rear seat. I fucking... I went to pick up a rear seat if you've got a touring. Make sure you get touring seats and not fucking saloons. You don't come with headrests on. So that's the next one I've got because I've got all these plastics here to put on. Seat belts fucking trims the lot. So there you are. Like, subscribe. Check out my other channel. It's under Smeggy Helmet. Just gaming videos and stuff, but I don't really put a lot on. So I've been too busy stripping this. Ready for uh, for me selling it, but I couldn't sell it without it being lowered. They look shockingly bad. They look so much better now with it lowered. So, low mileage ST3. 44,000 miles. Plus 320 brake horse. It's got nothing on, so standard map will be going back on it at release of stage one. So, which stage one I got 270 up Northern Road, so it'll be alright for somebody for the for a decent car. RS Pistons block mod, the fucking lot it's got on it. Just got fed up, got bored. There we are.